point you made right at the beginning yes. about the schools keeping them in a box because they're too expensive yeah. is absolutely what drives us as well. Because stuff's got to be down at the £1, £2 bracket before you can give it away or allow them to blow up half a dozen learning. Yeah. Could you just talk us through the whole cost? Because I know you've done a huge amount of work on this. And although yeah. the, the 80 mega costs less than two pounds and the capacitors and so forth cost nothing, you've got the breadboards, the battery boxes, yeah, yeah. that programmer. Could you just talk us through the, the strategy you can do to take those costs out? Because those can swamp the cost of the actual shrimp. Yeah, so um, a typical target for the information that we're providing online in terms of cost is a classroom. So the numbers we're tending towards are like 2030 or act based. Um, in terms of we're buying them in the hundreds at a time or heading towards thousands at a time. So you can get about 30, 50 for about the prices that we're getting them. Uh, and that's all documented online. <laughs> this is the little shrimp, by the way. <laughs> and Claire from Shrimping It as well. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Uh, that means that you can afford to get stuff FedEx from China, pretty much. That's the key stop point at which things start to become uh, uh, feasible. AliExpress um, and uh, Alibaba are in, in more, uh, uh, even bigger volumes. Alibaba, for example, doesn't list any prices. You've got to go and talk to them. Um, uh, would be a way of buying, uh, we get, for example, 170 point breadboards for 60p. We get the, um, uh, the larger breadboards for a quid. Um, that's the 400 points. Um, we've worked with Beta to get the DTR pin soldered onto their CP2102. It's a much cheaper alternative than the FTDI, which people have been using. They are now shipping the new CP2102 and 2104 with the DTR pin soldered on. You need that so that the reset signal can get sent through to the Arduino um, and so it will program properly. So I'm suspicious that it won't. So you can fly around in the bag. Let's try. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Any more questions while we're uh, yes, more questions. the Sorry, Did I answer your question adequately? Uh, yeah, it's an ongoing conversation. I just yeah. wanted to hear your latest thoughts on that because I'd, you, I'd love to give our local school yeah. a shrimp for every kid. Yes. And at two quid, I can afford to do it. But they've got 1,200 kids there. and. For it to be useful, they've got to be able to take it home and get the whole thing working. Yeah. And um, that, those bits around the outside are the killer. If you can go towards soldering onto strip board, we've got, I think the cheapest that we could deployed is two pound, uh, was it two pound 65? So it's getting towards that, that point. Um, the, uh, the modules, the UART modules are now, I think, 120. So that, you can reuse those because you only need to program something uh, uh, and then it can run off batteries, for example. Um, so in principle, you can give a whole class um, soldered shrimp for about 265 each, um, and then, um, yeah, and, and, and from there you can have them share a programmer, um, and that means that you can get those numbers very, very low if you need to. But then at the same time, it's quite useful for them to all have a programmer because then they can oh, take yeah. it home and then they can. Yeah, that's what you want to get. What? Yeah, I just want to but uh, anyone who's interested in sourcing stuff, we're managing this information actively. You might find stuff out and tell us, but equally well, if you've got a particular group you want to buy for, get in touch and we can send you everything we've got. So, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Has anybody done any work already, or is it worthwhile doing any work, and tried to port Arduino onto some of the smaller devices, the app Tiny, for instance? That's already been done. So there are cores for, for that. So, so uh, the Arduino software can have extra modules kind of thrown into key directories, which gives it the information it needs to send code to that type of chip. So that's been done. The reason you don't go down that route is the complexity of matching. So actually, in the context of, of a school where you're working closely with them, you might be able to drive down the cost up there as well. Um, but from a situation that we're working with often, where people might be at home, and they're like, OK, I've downloaded the Arduino. Now what, what do I do? Oh, well, there's a whole series of complex things that can get quite badly wrong. Uh, versus just hit go. You know, that's, that's the contrast that we're having. So it, there is a trade-off. We've gone with. Arduino you know, compatibility straight down the line because that gives lots of other projects as well. The other angle, 
other people's projects that work on our own node will go straight onto this. Yeah. Whereas if it's been, uh, if you're trying to get it onto an AZ tiny, you'll find lots of things that aren't quite the same. And the, Thanks. The three to eight are actually cheaper. The, the tinies aren't that much cheaper because they sell so many three to eights with all the Arduino stuff. They're actually, often three cheaper than the tiny. That, that's what I suspected actually. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I know. Yeah. <laughs> so do you keep the question going? I don't know how many more minutes I've got, by the way. Uh, you've got eight minutes left. Eight minutes, I've got one, Well, this was working. This is what people have done. is figured out that, well, we are kind of a bit like a button. We're just a very, very uh, resistive button. <laughs> so if we have a very big pull-up resistor, then we can use the human being as a much less uh, resistive uh, element. Uh, and then, so you become the button. So the idea is to attach this thing to your wrist, and then anything you touch, you make the circuit. Um, but yeah, as I say, it was working this morning, but uh, it might not be working right now. We've, we've had some, it's interesting that the interactions across, um, well, the globe really, you'll see the, the Shrimpkey map online, there's people everywhere right across the US, and this project, the Shrimpkey thing, is from uh, the Netherlands, he's been workshopping there with it. Um, so we're in touch trying to figure it out. We're welcome to join in and build some. Uh, probably try and get it working for tomorrow. I've got maybe 20 or 30 kits worth of bits that people work on. The, the kit for this particular case is about 20 resistors and two Zener diodes. And that's it. Unless you want fancy proper objects. <laughs> so that's a really nice project right there in principle compared to a Makey Makey, $45. So. <laughs> uh, I guess the resistors and diodes less than 30 feet, less than 20 probably. <laughs> so, any other questions? Right then, so I'm going to get into um, D message, see if I can see what it's doing, whether it appears or not. So um, the, um, the point of this is that it's pretending to be USB by saying this, I think, bit banging um, some wires. So. It's just wired in directly to the app maker. Um, so, and then it's pulsing as if it was a USB device, certain wires. Um, the diodes are in there to cope with the fact that this is running at 5 volts, which is, again, a convenience because plugging stuff into USB, running it off of certain batteries is more straightforward. Uh, we could switch it round so that it ran at 3 volts or something, but it makes things more complicated. So we've got Zener diodes that step down from 5 to 3.3 volts. Um, so it's appeared. You would think that would be good. So then, um, oh, yeah, it does work. Okay. So that's now sending keys. Okay. Uh, hey, me. Can you hold this? <laughs> So, hopefully this will also work. Yeah, that works, okay. Uh -huh. This is uh, Sjord's idea from the Netherlands. I was like, how do you get those anti-static wrist straps much cheaper? Tin foil. There we go. I'm hairy, I don't know if that makes a difference. Uh, oh, oh, thank you. Yeah, maybe get the green one and put that and clip those two together. Okay then. It works. Right then. So hopefully I should be able to Yeah. That's literally the first time it's ever worked. <laughs> As, um, apart from the button, which is what I tested it with. So I, I do act as a good button. Anyone got any fruit? That's the best way of doing it. Any fruit in the house? If you've got a line, okay then. <laughs> so at the moment it's only geared up for one button, but it can have 16 independent gear. Oh, we've got an orange. Oh, right. so this is the classic way of doing it. Yeah. Uh, might destroy your orange a little bit, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, still working. <laughs> so, no, it's no, it's oh. So, there we go, it works. My hair is on. I'm happy to take any more questions if I've got time, but I should get shifting, probably. Yes? We've got time for questions.
one or two more questions? I heard somewhere that um, it is possible to um, have the Arduino itself be like the Yeti the Army um, without having the Yeti the or, or the other one that you just mentioned. Um, and yes. if so, is it possible to make it even cheaper and have it pro uh, be programmed that way instead? So that the Arduino needs to be. At the moment, our shrimps cost more than the UARTs do. The UARTs are about 120, which is just the price of the chip alone, uh, of the AppMega chip alone. So I can see how that could work if it took the other way. You know, if shrimps were cheaper than, um, than, than the UARTs, which is the serial, well, serial communications module, this thing, <laughs> um, then, then that would work. And it is feasible. Um, when we bootload the chips, Originally, we bootload them with another Arduino or another shrimp, same thing. Um, and you can really bootload them. You can, as who was telling me earlier on, uh, you can, uh, you, you've got the documentation, is it Sheffield Hackspace? No, Leeds. Leeds Hackspace, we've got the documentation how to um, send programs on when you're flashing them as well. So, you know, it might turn out to be strategic. You make it work with the software USB. That's what the board that we've got in the package today does. Oh, it right. actually does software USB for the bootloader. Okay. So you could do that with the shrimps, actually. Right. You'd be the kind of the oh, USB kit. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, yeah. I did.